Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five 10 minute family meals. These are all perfect for those nights when you get in late and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get something on the table. They're also tried and tested. They're delicious, healthy, and can be adapted for vegetarians as well. So I hope you really enjoy this video. And I've done five because I thought this would be the perfect weekly meal plan for your Monday to Friday meals if you're having a busy week, which I think I've definitely been feeling now that we are back into the school routine so i hope you really enjoy this video and it gives you some meal inspiration and if you do like videos like this make sure to click the red button below and subscribe and also give this video a big like so that i know that you guys like this content so with all that said let's get into our meals so the first recipe that I wanted to share with you is English muffin pizzas. I have shown this before on my channel and Instagram as well, but it is such a good one and it actually takes less than 10 minutes. This is the perfect recipe that I make when we get in late from swimming lessons and I just need to get some food on the table really quickly. So all you do is toast the English muffins and then once they're a little bit toasted, spread some tomato puree on top. I probably put like a tablespoon spoon of tomato puree on each one because my boys really love the sauce. Then I just add on some grated mozzarella. I just buy it pre-grated, which means it's even easier to do. And then you can also add any toppings that your children would like. So you could put things like red pepper, cooked chicken, sweet corn, whatever they like. Tonight I'm just doing pepperoni. And then you just stick those under the grill for a few minutes until they're all like golden brown and bubbly and then I just serve these with raw vegetables or salad. So while they're under the grill, I'll just cut up some red pepper, some cucumber, some carrots, and it is literally that simple. The next family recipe that I wanted to share with you is pesto gnocchi with peas. Pesto pasta is such a great one for kids anyway. I know so many mums love that staple dinner, but this is just slightly different by using gnocchi instead of pasta. So this gnocchi only takes two minutes in boiling water to make and the peas take three minutes. So I just boil them all up in one pot together. Then I'll just strain them and then stick them back into the pot. And then I'll just stir in some pesto. I pretty much just eyeball it, but that was like a heaped teaspoon of pesto. Then I'm adding in a tablespoon of creme fraiche. Creme fraiche is such a great hack for pasta anyway. It's a great sauce that's not offensive for kids. Um, also Philadelphia cream cheese works really well for this as well. And that is literally it. You've got your gnocchi pesto peas and that is probably another one that takes less than 10 minutes. <laughs> The next recipe that I wanted to share with you is a rice and chicken dish, which is almost like a very quick paella. So for this, you'll want some fine green beans and I just trim them and cut them in half. And then I'm also chopping up some parsley as well to go in this dish. And then I'm also gonna chop up some chicken and I chop it in quite small, pieces because it's bite sized for the kids then but also it cooks even faster when it's nice and small like this so then I'm just going to put the chicken into our frying pan with a little bit of olive oil and then I also am using some garlic paste I love using garlic paste because it is the quickest way to get some garlic flavor into it without having to like chop up a garlic clove then I'm also going to add in the fine green beans with the chicken and then I cheat with with this microwavable rice. So you just stick this into the microwave for two minutes. And then once that is done heating through, I'll add that to the chicken and the green beans. Then I'm also making up some chicken stock, but I'm only gonna use about 100 ml of that in this dish, just to give it a little bit of a sauciness to it. So now I'm just adding in the whole bag of the microwavable rice. I'm also adding in a teaspoon of smoked paprika, but of course, if this is something your children wouldn't like, if they would rather it really plain, you can leave this out and adapt the recipe. Then I'm adding in about 100 ml of the chicken stock just to give it like a little bit more sauce to it. And then I'm gonna squeeze in a lemon and then add the parsley in as well. And that is it. So this is a dish that the boys really like, but also Matt really likes it as well. And whenever we have leftovers, we just stick it in the fridge and have it for lunch and it's just a really quick, wholesome family meal. 
Another really quick dinner that I love to make for the boys is simply an omelette. I know that is such an easy idea, but it's so quick. It's also packed full of protein and you can add any like toppings that you want. You can pack it full of veg if you want and you can use up random things in your fridge like mushrooms or whatever you have. So for today's omelette, I'm putting in some tomato, parsley, some ham, and of course, there's always cheese in our omelets. So I've just grated that up as well. Then I'm going to put three eggs into a bowl and then whisk that together. This size omelet would probably be enough for my two older children. And I love to serve our omelets with chips or fries or bread on the side. Um, I'm also gonna season the eggs with a little bit of salt, but you can also add pepper as well. And then a little bit of milk too. So now in our frying pan, I'm just going to heat up a little bit of butter add in the egg mixture and then after a few moments I'm then going to put all the toppings um, in it as well so just like evenly laying that out this doesn't take very long at all and then once I'm pretty sure that the bottom is cooked what you can do if you don't want to flip your omelette is you can then take it and just stick it under the grill and then that will cook um, the top part of your omelette and it just means that your omelette stays looking really nice and really yummy with all the toppings there and it's almost a little bit more like a pizza then so I'm gonna cut it up with a pizza cutter and serve it with the boys and as I said you can do like sides with this but it is such a quick one. And the last recipe that I wanted to share with you today is halloumi wraps. These are so delicious and I just thought it would be a really good one to share with you because tacos or fajitas or wraps are such a good, quick family meal that is really, really yummy. So for the halloumi, I've just cut it up into slices. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil and smoked paprika and then I'm gonna stick that under the grill for four to five minutes. So while that is under the grill cooking, I'm then gonna make like a little salsa almost to go in the wraps as well. So I'm just cutting up some cherry tomatoes, squeezing in some lime, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of salt, and then I'm taking some creme fraiche, and then I am mixing in some spicy chipotle paste. You don't have to put the chipotle paste in. We just really like it. Um, it's actually not that spicy either. Um, and then I'm also gonna cut up some baby gem lettuce, and then before you know it, the halloumi is looking nice and bright brown and delicious and then all you have to do is assemble your wraps so I would probably just put in like two or three pieces of halloumi with obviously the lettuce and then the sauce and the salsa and Matt and I would probably have two of these whereas the kids might have one of these um, and they love wraps like maybe some of them would not have the tomato or maybe one of them wouldn't have the lettuce but wraps in general are also a really good dinner because I feel like you can hide a lot in a wrap from a child and sometimes out of sight out of mind but yeah it's a really tasty one and it's also a vegetarian one as well all right, so that is it for this video. I think that some of those recipes were actually quicker than 10 minutes to make, so I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any like staple dinners that take less than 10 minutes, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys!